Well, four liberal cabinet ministers have decided not to seek re-election. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is expected to shuffle his cabinet yet again as a result. Philomena Tassi has announced she won't be running for personal reasons, and a senior government source says Mary-Claude Bibeau, Carla Qualtro, and Dan Vandal also won't be on the ballot. A shuffle could happen as early as next week. Well, let's go live now to CTV's Rachel Aiello with more on what's taking place. And this is just, you know, add this to the list of other major issues that is impacting the prime minister and his office. Yeah, that's right. So we have confirmed today that these four cabinet ministers will not be running again. And as you noted, this sets the stage for another cabinet shuffle. Now, the timing of this is still in flux, but because there are four members of his cabinet no longer running again, they will not be keeping their ministerial positions. Obviously, the prime minister wants to get folks into those roles, those high profile positions who do intend to run under his banner again. We've heard already from Minister Tassi. She issued a statement this morning saying that this was a bittersweet but personal decision. And we we are expecting to get statements from the other cabinet ministers soon. Are, are we expecting uh, any statement uh, from the prime minister today on this or, or anything from his office? We have reached out to the Prime Minister's office for comment, both to get his reaction to these high-profile departures, but also to see if they will say anything about what comes next. Obviously, this comes amid continuing pressure on the Prime Minister from when, within his caucus. CTV News has reported that as of next week's Liberal Caucus meeting, there are a few members of his team that will be going to him directly and asking for him to consider stepping aside. So the timing of a minister leaving uh, is never good, but certainly this announcement from four cabinet ministers today uh, that they will not be running again just days before that high stakes liberal caucus meeting is certainly of note and I'm sure that the prime minister uh, is feeling the pressure of this massive political update. And do we have uh, any indications? Uh, I know that a lot of the MPs that are have signed on to this letter, a lot of them are trying to keep their names out of the news, but are, are we hearing of any potential MPs who are willing to to come forward and say, yeah, I'm a part of this, uh, this group of people. So CTV News has been working the phones, talking to a, a good number of Liberal caucus members. What we've kind of heard so far is there are um, internal pressures from some to want to keep this effort to press the Prime Minister to not run again, uh, kind of out of the headlines. They want this to be a private, behind closed doors, candid conversation. Now, there have been a few Liberal MPs who have come out publicly to his defense, including Liberal MP Chandra Arya, uh, saying that he thinks his caucus mates are focused too much on the polls, and he is optimistic that an economic turnaround uh, will help the Prime Minister at least have some room to start talking to Canadians about what's next. Uh, so there are a number of ongoing conversations and some tensions. There have been a few Liberal MPs who have spoken publicly expressing their uh, frustrations with the Prime Minister. Uh, so it is definitely a hot button issue and next Wednesday's caucus meeting is going to be one to watch for sure. CTV's Rachel Aiello, we appreciate the update. Thank you. Thanks.